be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Uh, today's video, basically what we're doing is showing you how to load third-party drum kits and samples into GarageBand. So let's go ahead and jump in. So first thing we're going to do is just create a MIDI track. All right. And then once you create the MIDI track, obviously you're going to see this default patch, which is going to be your electric piano. But what we're going to do, we're going to want to make sure that we, this is selected, which is our smart controls. By default, it pops up. But you can go to where it says plugins. All right. And once you do that, instead of the electric piano, you're going to click here and go to AU Instruments, then Apple, then the AU Sampler. All right. So this is the AU Sampler. So it looks like pretty cool, pretty basic. The, the uh, initial instrument that's loaded is a sine wave. And you're not going to want to use that. Now, before we actually even get started with this, this is going to mess you up if you don't do this. But you're going to want to go over here to your, your, your plugin, not your plugins, but your um, parameters and everything, and turn the reverb down here. All right, do that because if you don't, you're going to be trying to load a snare and it's going to have all this reverb. You're going to be like, where is it coming from? You're going to come over here, uncheck these. You're going to still see it. You're going to be going in here, going over here, going, you know, in here, trying to you know mess with knobs. And it's just going to be right here. So turn that reverb down before you start loading your samples. But anyway, this is going to be our sampler here. Um, you could do different layers, stack sounds and things like that. But for our purposes, we're not going to be doing a whole lot of stacking except for to build the actual kit. So what we do is just come over here where the gear is at the bottom and then say add samples. And let's just uh, start off by doing like the sample option where you can just add like a flute or something like that. So. I'm just going to go ahead and search for some samples on my computer. Loops, strings, let's see what this is. All right, cool. We're going to put that in there. So we'll just, all you're going to do is just click open. And now um, it's all the way, all the way across the keyboard. Only problem is you still hear that sine wave. So what you're gonna do, you click on your your um, your new sample here, then click on the sine wave, and then push this minus um, option. Now that gets rid of the sine wave or the sine wave or the old sample, and now you have this one. So that's pretty hard. Um, you can obviously come over here and tune it if you wanted to, turn the volume up, pan, different things like that. You can come over in the global settings and do the same thing. But let's say that we want to save this, right? We like this sample, we want to save it. It's across to all the keyboard already. Just go to manual, then go to save as, and then you just give it a name. I'll say dark um, string loop. Now, anytime I want to print, uh, bring this up, all I have to do is open this back up, you know, start with a new track. Instead of the electric piano, go to AU Instruments, Apple, AU Sampler, and then same area, go to Manual, and you're gonna see the kits and stuff that you are building right here, or you can go to more and then load it so we have the dark string loop and now it's right there and as you can hear because I didn't come over here and turn this down there's a reverb on it and since it's a sample that it's gonna sound dope like that but 
I always want to turn that off. All right, cool. So now that we know how to load samples, let's talk about how you would load drum kits, okay? Um, so same process, you're gonna start off with a new, uh, a new MIDI track, and then you're gonna swap the electric piano out for the AU sampler through Apple. And turn that reverb down. I'm gonna close the library for us. And it's essentially the same process except for how you um, map out everything on the keyboard is different. You know, so we're going to add the sample in. So you just search it on your computer. Let's just say we want to go with like a snare or something like that. Let's see. Let's go with this clap. So we're just going to add it in like this. You want to make sure you delete this uh, sine wave or you're going to hear it with your clap. So go here, click on that sine wave, push the um, negative sign, and that gets rid of it. Then very important step, in order to put this clap, you know, on a specific note, instead of just going all throughout the whole keyboard, you want to click on the actual sample right here. And then you want to change the key range to whatever note you want it to be on and the root note to be whatever note you want to be on. So say if we're going to be on C1, we'll go over here and then type that in. Same here, type that in. And then here, type that in. Now when I push C1, it should have that um, clap sound. And then we pretty much just repeat the process all the way up the keyboard. So add a sample. So let's say we want that kick in there. Same process. You want to actually go to the actual sample that you just added, which would be that kick, and then put it, you know, wherever else you want it. So if we had that clap on C1, then we can put this one on C sharp one. So we'll just come in here and do C sharp one. And same thing here. And on the root. And now I got the clap here, and I got the kick here. Once you got it right here, you can move these around to whatever note, but initially you have to just plug it in that way. So I can take this and swap this out. Like say I want this one on C1 instead. Now we got everything how we want it. Let's say you want to save this same type of uh, system here. Go where it says manual, click under there, and then do save as. And it's going to give it a name. So we can just say this is going to be our trap kit. And then once you do that, anytime you want to pull it up, just go through that same process. You can do a mono or or stereo. It doesn't you know? It's up to you. We can do it mono. Turn that reverb down. Make sure you do that. And then where it says manual, you'll see the the uh, different sounds start to build right here. Or you can just access it by clicking on more and then load. But I'm just gonna click it right here. So my trap kit should be able to hit C1. And there we go, there's our samples. So appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Um, go to my website, beatmakingbasics.com. Get yourself a course. We have a full video course. If you like the video and the content I'm doing here in our courses, it goes into way more detail and you get a whole like a curriculum, a whole set of videos to go towards one concept. 
instead of having to jump around and search online on my channel or other people's channels, you can just get it in a course. But anyway, make sure you get subscribed. Like I said, join uh, the channel perks for more videos and appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.